Hi everyone, excited to be here again today to talk to you this time about accountability. I've had some conversations with people over the last week about struggling with getting their employees to hold each other accountable or as supervisors or managers to hold their employees accountable. So I thought we'd talk about today what does accountability mean and how do you actually do it. One of the things that people often struggle with is holding people accountable and part of the reason for that is we have the word accountability sort of synonymous with punishment or blame or putting somebody in that uncomfortable place about you know they've done something wrong and we're gonna find fault with it actually that's not really what accountability means so me I took the time to look up the word accountability in the dictionary this morning let me tell you what accountability actually does mean accountability is the expectation of account giving so giving an account of what happened, the events, the circumstances, the reason, the why, the how. It's a story. And so when you're holding somebody accountable, basically your responsibility is a question. Tell me what happened. Tell me why it happened. Tell me the story about what went on. It's not placing blame. It's not punishing them. It's about finding out what went on. And so as supervisors, when we're holding somebody accountable, we're getting the story. Once you've got the story, you're able to take it and look at it. What happened? What went wrong? Where were expectations not clear? Where were guidelines not followed? What were the events that led to this? Is there something we can change or do differently? Oftentimes what happens is when we hold somebody accountable and ask them to tell the story or give an account of what just happened, they, in the process of telling that story, go, this happened, this happened, and this you know, I did this because I thought maybe this was the right way, but I wasn't sure. Or I did this because somebody else told me to do it. Or I did it because I wanted to try something differently. I don't like the way that I've been told how to do it. And so by the account giving, by the telling of the story, we're able to pinpoint or pick out the parts where things went wrong or something happened. So here's some examples of when we might hold somebody accountable. One of the big ones is, you know, when somebody doesn't show up for work or they show up for work late or they show up for a meeting late. Holding them accountable doesn't mean a sarcastic comment about, oh, well, nice to see you finally showed up. It's not, you know, ignoring. It certainly isn't talking about them behind their back to somebody else. Holding somebody accountable for being late or not showing up means saying to them, hey, I noticed you were late this morning. What's up with that? That's it. No accusing, no blaming, no nothing. Just saying, what's up with that? Tell me, I'm curious. Maybe there's a real valid reason why they were late. Maybe there isn't. And by asking the question, they have to then answer to you. That's what accountability is. They're answering to you. Well, you know what? My dog was sick and I couldn't find somebody to take care of the baby. I got stuck in traffic, whatever. They're going to give you the story. From there, you're able to, you know, discern whether it's valid, whether it fits in with, you know, what's going on in the workplace. Maybe this is the third or fourth or fifth time this has happened and then you have to address it. Maybe it's the first time it's happened. But it's asking them to tell the story. Here's another place where we need to hold people accountable in the workplace. Cleanliness. Uh, you all have seen it. Company vehicle. Who leaves the garbage in the company vehicle? Or the, the staff room or the kitchen. People leave food. I mean, containers in the fridge forever. Holding people accountable is saying, hey, you know what? I noticed that there's still some garbage in the vehicle. Who was the last person to drive it? It's a question. It's curiosity. It's not saying, who's the jerk that left the McDonald's bag in the vehicle? It's saying, hey, I noticed. I noticed without judgment. When you notice, people go, ooh, I better make sure that I don't do that again. I don't want to, you know, be put front and center again because I was the one that did that. Another place where we need to hold our employees accountable is with the, the job duties. When they are working with a client, when they're working on a task or a job, we need to hold them accountable. And in order to do that, the first step in accountability is making sure they know the expectations. What is required of them? What do they need to do? And we kind of all sort of assume that they do. Well, we've talked about it. We've had the... really, honestly, the truth is, is they don't often clearly know the expectations. So if you're going to start holding people really accountable, have a meeting, sit down, have a conversation saying, this is what we're holding you accountable for. Put it down on paper, lay it out in black and white, 
these are the expectations that I have. I require you to do this, this, and this, and I require it done by then. And this is the level of quality that I want you to do it at. So you're clear on what, what the expectations are. Then you have them come back and say, I agree. I, I got it. I'm clear. Maybe they repeat back to you. Maybe they give it, you know, in another way. Sometimes one of the greatest ways to do accountability is have them explain it to somebody else uh, so that you can be sure that, that they've got it. So be clear on what the expectations are, get buy-in from your employees, and then have those conversations following that. You know, when you're talking about cleaning the, the company vehicle, which is always that sore spot, have those conversations at staff meeting. Talk to people when, when it comes up. Don't avoid it. Uh, one of the things I've seen for years is timesheets, errors on timesheets. And rather than holding people accountable, we just fix them. I mean, I did that for years myself where it was easier to just fix the mistake, it took me, you know, a minute to fix it, than actually go back to the person and hold them accountable. But they're not learning that way. They're not taking responsibility for their own actions that way. So hold people accountable. Take the time, make sure they know what's expected of them, and then ask them to tell the story. Get them to tell an account of what happened and have them start being accountable for their own actions. When you do, you'll feel better, you'll feel more relaxed, and your employees will feel more empowered and engaged.